Well, new this morning, filling the gap for a historically excluded and underserved group of mothers. That's what Riley Hospital for Children says is the goal of this new doula program. Our Caitlin Kendall is live outside of Riley this morning with more on why this is so needed. Caitlin, good morning. Good morning, Lauren. The whole point of the Riley doula program is to actually lower the maternal mortality rate, a long talked about issue that's really crippled our state. And for one mother I spoke to, she says the fear of death was real for her, both during pregnancy and the delivery process. Hi, sugars. Hi, sugar mama. She's a star. Meet four month old Melina. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see our dog on the red carpet. Her parents, Nigel and Ray, have been adjusting to the whole parenting thing. Please don't. Not this <laughs> shit! <laughs> I need her purple. That certainly won't be the last time that happens. She kept on holding my pinky, you know, and I was like, oh my God. And she still to this day holds my pinky. It's moments like these that could have never happened, a reality many mothers face daily. The most recent IU Health maternal mortality study shows black women in Indiana are twice as likely to die from pregnancy and postpartum complications than white women. As a black woman who wants to have children, I, I would be lying if I said I didn't fear, you know, having children because of what can happen or going into the health care system and being afraid that I won't be hurt. It's a fear many women in the black indigenous people of color or BIPOC community have. To be a part of a program that is actively trying to change those things, it's really, you know, it makes me feel like I'm, I'm doing, you know, something important. I'm making a difference. I'm making a change. India Vance, a doula at Riley Hospital for Children, says it's a role that's been put into place to tackle the maternal mortality rate among the BIPOC community. A lot of the times mistakes can happen when mom isn't listened to or it's just disregarded or, oh, you're fine. Oh, that's normal. Well, can we can we check anyway just in case this is the event where it's not fine? That's the whole goal of the doula, to provide emotional, physical, and informational support to mom. They're Miracle workers, just like doctors, nurses, and everybody else that's inside the hospital. Ray was recommended to be part of the doula program at Riley. She says it gave her a sense of control in the unknown of childbirth, making her feel empowered. Even though you might feel like you're alone, you're not. If you feel like you can't ask questions, doulas, everybody's there to support and um, ask them for you. I'm doing something that matters, and if people don't remember anything else, they'll remember that, okay, when I had my child, I felt loved, I felt empowered, and to be a part of that, it's really rewarding. You know, little Melina was the most chill four-month-old baby I have ever met in my entire life. There are some stipulations to participating in Riley's doula program. You must be a member of the BIPOC community. You have to actually be referred by a healthcare professional, and this has to be your first live birth. We're live outside of Riley this morning. Caitlin Kendall, WRTV.